Hey YouTube, Joseph Bomber here again, and today, real quick, I'm going to shoot you a review of this Hyper Tough, you see it right there, multi tool from uh, Walmart. I mean, you can and you can see all the dust down in those ports, and this thing is not new by any stretch of the imagination. Um, we've had this one. We actually bought two of these because I think that when we bought them, uh, you could buy these things for about thirty bucks a piece. And got the power switch up here. You have a speed switch here on the side that goes from your minimum, and then you can dial it up to change the speed of the the basically the vibration speed of the motor. There's a maximum. A uh, pretty good length power cord on it. Uh, it's just a two prong plug, so you can use it anywhere. And then the attachments use a what was that? Six millimeter, I believe it is, Allen that holds them on. There's a lock washer, a flat washer, and then your attachment. Uh, they have anything from little saw blades to, this is just a flat, just a rigid scraper. Um, and you can, I think you can get sander pads for them and all kinds of stuff. So they're, they're actually pretty versatile little tools. Um, we bought the two of these when we were doing the kitchen floor in our other house to help scrape up some of the linoleum tile. And I'm actually working over here in one of the, uh, we have a trailer park that we manage, and I'm working in one of the rental units, and <clears throat> had to do some work on the bathroom floor, which I'm sure you'll see there's a big hole i got to patch up uh, where the, there had been some water spilled and the floor had gotten soft. But I'm peeling up all the linoleum so that we can redo the floor since I already had to tear part of it up. And I figured since I had it out, I would show you how, how well it worked. Now, as you can see, all these patches here, like this, this is all stuff where we've already peeled the linoleum and the backer was left behind or some of the, the actual linoleum was left behind where the glue's got it stuck down. I'm going to show you how well this thing works. Now, word of warning, if you're wearing headphones, turn them down. When I turn this tool on, that is my one complaint about this tool. It is loud, and I don't know how loud it's going to come out on the video, so please, if you have headphones on, turn them down before I start the tool um, because it is going to be rather loud um, but here we go guys let me see yeah that'll give you a pretty good view of the floor down here um, let me I'm gonna rotate you over just a little bit here because I'm also going to work on over here some of this tile that's already stuck down now the nice squared corner here uh, my son was over here helping me last night and I hadn't even thought about grabbing this tool so we were just peeling it up and we found it easier to get sections up just to cut it cut it with a uh, razor knife and then go through and peel sections up now you don't have to wear gloves I'm just wearing gloves because I just don't feel like having my hands all over the floor uh, with the scraper to keep from digging in you've got to make sure it's flat or lean back a little bit and like I said turn the volume down because I'm, I'm going to go ahead and start the tool
Now I will say, you can see how quickly and easily that peeled that up. You do want to work with the grain of the wood, and in this case this wood sub floor, the grain is running this way. You want to work with that, otherwise the tool has a tendency to dig in and do that in the, the upper grain of this, this the sub flooring. So uh, I'm going to show you here on some of the actual, the full thickness linoleum, how well it works over here. And if you angle up a little bit, you can actually cut through the linoleum. Um, over here, right, right over here somewhere, you may have noticed I was having a little issue. There is a staple here that what holds the sub floor down. And I didn't want to, I felt the staple and it backed off because I didn't want to, I didn't want to ding up the edge of the scraper blade right there. So I'm going to try to keep that halfway sharp. Here we go again. Rigid Hyper Tough Multi Tool, or not rigid, sorry, that is the Hyper Tough Multi Tool. And please do me a favor, rate the video, um, whether you like it or not, give it a thumbs up, give it a thumbs down. If you have any questions about the tool, please post them in the comment section. Um, I've got the speed setting set on max because with this, for this setup, man, it works fast, it works great. Um, you could dial it back if you were doing something a little more delicate or sanding or, uh, you know, something where you didn't need as much speed. But, uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to shake your glove off here. Anyway, guys, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, and once you do subscribe, click the little notification bell. That way, every time I post a new video, uh, you will get a notification. Um, and, like I said, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget, don't be afraid to get out there and get your hands dirty. You might just have a little fun doing it. <laughs>